thing that we'll need to look into is sanitizing. So we gotta clean and sanitize pretty much anything that we're gonna be using tonight, anything that's gonna come in contact with the beer. Um, the reasoning behind that is um, bacteria can be really detrimental to your beer. You know, we also we have yeast, of course, which is um, uh, you know a natural organism, and that helps turn um, sugars into alcohols. And we want that; that's great. But um, you know, if you have dirty pots and pans that you're using, or dirty spoons, literally anything that's coming into contact with your beer, you um, during the whole brewing process, you want to make sure that it is both cleaned and then sanitized. So what's important to understand about why bacteria is bad for your beer is that it will cause what um, we call infected beer. Uh, the issue with infected beer uh, is that it's going to produce off scents and off flavors um, and just generally turn out in a product that you don't want. There are specific cleaners that you can pick up for brewing beer um, and they call they call themselves active oxygen cleaners, right? So um, a, uh, a pretty popular version of, of one of those that you may have heard of is um, what they call it? OxyClean. I think it's OxyClean Versatile Free. And so it's really important if you go pick up OxyClean as your cleaner that you choose the, the, the free kind. Um, because what that means is it's going to be free of dyes and perfumes, uh, I think chlorine, and um, and that that's going to be better for the quality of your beer. And then, not to mention, that particular um, item is something that you can also use as laundry detergent. So if you decide brewing isn't right for you, then you know on the upside you've still got uh, a container of uh, laundry detergent that you can use. There's also, I've got um, this guy that came in, um, in another kit that I purchased, it's called um, Be Bright Cleanser. It's the same thing, it's this active oxygen cleansing solution, so you add a tablespoon of this to water and um, you know use that to clean everything prior to sanitizing. Um, one thing I'll mention here is, so yes, those are two options, is to pick up beer specific oxygen cleaners, but if you don't do that, you can... Um, you can also use dish soaps that you own um, or, or bleach that you own, but you want to, if you're going to do that, you want to stay away from things that have um, scents in them because that will end up turning, uh, uh, you know, it'll impart those scents and, and those heavy, um, I don't know, heavy scents into your, uh, into your beer. So it's, it's, um, you know, if you can afford it, if you can manage it, uh, I would suggest going with the active oxygen cleaners. Uh, the other downside to dish soap um, and and bleach is that once you've used that to clean, then you're probably going to need to rinse um, anything that you've cleaned with it several times because it leaves behind a residue that uh, you know might not otherwise bother you in your normal um, course of cooking or what you know normal food, but uh, in the course of brewing beer, it's going to be more impactful, so you'll, you'll have to spend more time um, actively cleaning those items. In addition to however you choose to clean it, then we've got our sanitizer pack here. Okay, it's a dry mix here. Um, and this actually says to use only half of the packet at first. Dissolve half a packet in one gallon of water on brew day, and then dissolve the remaining sanitizer in a gallon of water on bottling day. One helpful thing to know about the sanitizer that comes with the Brooklyn Brew Kits is that it's typically a no-rinse sanitizer. So that means once you've mixed up a, a bucket of it and dipped your um, brewing items into that sanitizer and applied it to your items, then um, you don't have to rinse them off. And in fact, you don't want to rinse them off. Uh, so you want the sanitizer to just air dry. Um, I know some of the kits don't come with a no-rinse sanitizer. Uh, so you'll want to check the instructions that are on your specific packet um, to see if they mention anything about rinsing off the sanitizer. Alright, time to go clean some stuff.